as the perimetry is a psychophysical test the threshold values obtained are not only dependent on function of visual system but also on physical and cognitive factors this puzzling printout shows threshold sensitivity values is less than 1 decibel instead of usual 0 decibel in the raw data which means that 1 decibel was the strongest intensity that was projected by the perimeter and these stimuli were not perceived by the patient gray scale does not show black areas but a level of gray as the scotoma falls in different band width range this occurs when the light bulb is dim and replacement of bulb rectifies the loss of brightness range This visual field printout of the right eye shows superior arcuate scotoma and the blind spot plotted on the left field of vision in the raw data and grayscale map. In both numeric and probability display of total and pattern deviation, the two points nearest to the typical location of physiological blind spot are on right field of vision. It was found that the technician had incorrectly entered the right eye to be tested and carried out the test for the left eye. On repeating the test with correct entry of the eye the test result makes a sense This patient aged 60 years was tested with a correction lens of 6.25 diopters and showed diffuse loss of sensitivity at all the tested points on repeating the test after entering the correct year of birth and refractive error correction the visual field abnormality was accurately quantified and correlated with the optic disc findings as threshold values are compared with age matched normative values incorrect age entry will lead to comparison with wrong set of normal values also Failure to properly correct the refractive error will cause stimuli to defocus and blur resulting in improper test result. In the first visual field performed by the patient the sensitivity was reduced at most of the test locations more marked towards mid periphery and edge of the field because of patient's inexperience. On repeating the test the overall sensitivity improved the depression was less apparent than the first test and the consistency of responses was better this is an example of untrained patient and perimetric learning this is a classical trigger happy feel when an anxious patient presses the response button even when the stimuli is not seen resulting in a large number of false responses This affects test results in a number of ways such as high fixation loss high false positive response which causes high measured threshold values at most of the points to a level that human cannot see resulting in patches of abnormal light areas on gray scale known as white scotoma This visual field has high false negative responses and the best sensitivity is at four primary points. There is a patchy reduction of sensitivity towards the edge. This results in a clover leaf pattern in the gray scale which is due to patient's inattention as the test progresses. In this visual field the patient did not respond to the stimuli presented at the four primary points but subsequently responded to surrounding point stimuli resulting in the four dot artifact on gray scale which is reverse of what is seen in clover leaf pattern When the correction lens is too far from the eye or not properly centered its rim can block peripheral stimuli and produce a sharply demarcated absolute defect this correction lens artifact will disappear on subsequent test 
This printout shows peripheral edge scotoma due to head tilt which disappeared on follow up test. This patient had droopy upper lid which resulted in decreased sensitivities in the superior portion of the central field which was accentuated on grayscale plot. To conclude, the patterns of artifactual field defects are often characteristic and easily recognized. Proper instructions and patient supervision helps to improve test results. Technicians should ensure correct patient's data entry. Careful examination of all the data on the printout is essential to detect any errors which can lead to misinterpretation of visual field, false alarms and wrong clinical conclusion.